Yeah, it, it, it's right now. I mean, it's it's forearm tightness. Um, we're going to get an MRI tomorrow, and, and so hopefully we have some good news, and uh, we'll see. Um, obviously, we got to be careful with them, and we'll know more tomorrow. But just very obviously, when you see a guy, you know, go at his forearm, it's always disconcerting. What did you say when he came, when you went out there? What did you well, he, he was trying to lobby to get the next hitter, so that wasn't going to happen. Were they still on one pitcher? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty fair to say he go on the IL. Yeah, he, he'll go on the IL and, um, you know, just kind of the calendar. I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to speculate too much, but it's it just it, we're running out of time, right? This will be the 11th starting pitcher that you've put on the IL this year. Can you imagine that? number from the season started? No, no, I, I just, it's, uh, I think this is probably, you know, the highest number we, we I've dealt with, um, and really quality arms, and, you know, you try to do everything you can to, uh, you know, prepare them, take care of them, and, you know, give them extra rest, and it just, you know, right now it's just happening a lot, certainly to us, and, you know, fortunately we've got a lot of depth and a lot of good ball players, and, you know, we'll just try to backfill, but it's just I just feel bad for River because uh, he was, you know, pitching such a such a you know good ball game, and you know I was just excited. I was kind of feeling his energy. What did you like most about your guys' approach against Steve Sky? I just thought we 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 competed. Um, obviously, he's one of the best arms in the game, and um, we got him for three at his place. We got him for four tonight. And I just thought tonight, obviously, Gavin, we got a little flare double from Teo, and Gavin took a really good swing, and Gavin really was a star tonight. Um, then he took a change-up sinker type thing in the second at-bat to drive in two, and I thought he had a really good approach. But even, you know, all throughout our lineup, I thought we saw pitches and tried to get them up and just try to fight because, uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be a tall order to, to beat that guy. And... Um, so with the combination of pitching, great defense, as we saw tonight, um, and some timely hitting was huge. Was there a concerted effort to try to like go the other way against them or just kind of protect against the fastball like what Gavin did and on that single kind of the same way? No, I, I think that, you know, I think as far as Gavin, he got a he got a fastball up out over and he just took a good swing and it went to the opposite field gap and then he got that change up up, pulled it. And then, uh, you know, Teo took a good ch change up or sink or whatever it was at 93 and uh, just took, just stayed in the big part of the field. Um, you know, outside of that, we just kind of competed tonight. So I think it was just more of just trying to get the baseball up tonight. How big were you worried about the defense? It, it was, I mean, KK's play um, in center field. Um, Obviously, uh, Rivers play in the first. I, I just, the, the level of difficulty, I don't see a pitcher making that play. I mean, that's, man, extremely difficult, athletic, arm strength to make the throw. Um, you know, Jason's obviously been solid out there. And uh, Nicky Ahmed going to his glove side was a really nice play, too. So, um, off Kopech, you know, Kopech in the game. So, getting Kopech doing an up down was great. Bullpen was really good, and um, yeah, it was good to throw some zeros. How valuable has Lux been over the last month? He, he's been invaluable, and, and you know, looking at you know where he started, um, how he started, where he was hitting in the lineup, and now you know hitting second, third, fourth, um, and being productive, he's come a long way. Two questions, two part question from River: Was is he making a case to stay in the rotation, and you know, some of these guys getting healthy and come back? And I guess you never want to see a guy go down. But Walker on the rehab assignment, Bobby pitching well. You know, is the timing okay? Because you have these guys ready to come up. Well, I, I do think he was making a case for himself. Um, you know, where we're at in a pennant race, we, we've got to take the best players, and that goes with pitching as well. So um, obviously, this is a big setback. But um, I, I think for River and himself is just to really open eyes and know that he can pitch here and really do some special things. I think that's a takeaway uh, right now. But yeah, to, to the point Michael is having some other guys back that have been there and uh, we got some reinforcements and they got to be good. And another scoreless appearance for Michael Kopech. How quickly is he earning your trust and just how does his presence just change the overall outlook of the pen? Uh, it's just real 
top end stuff and it doesn't matter left or right hand and he's just such a beast and so you know we got him throwing that cutter going along with the 100 mile an hour fastball it's an uncomfortable at bat and so for me the strike throwing um, he's already all in bought in and so uh, he, he's definitely high up the trust tree right now for sure maybe gonna carry extra reliever i'm assuming in, in the interim with, with Ryan going on the I.O.? Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll bring Landon back tomorrow. Yeah. Pitch out of the bullpen? Yeah, he'll be out of the pen. Thanks, guys. Thanks,